Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new video on Source Code channel. Today we are going to be learning about objects in JavaScript. So to make some stuff we might need to use a lot of data and objects are a way to really easily store groups of data that should be combined with each other and uh, that kind of stuff let me just show you what i mean so let's say we want to store data about a person so let's say uh, bob is a human and we want to store his uh, skin color and we will say um, brown and then we would have to say uh, hair color is black Cons eye color is blue so if we have this data and I actually want to make this Bob eye color so if we have this data it's a lot of writing and every time we want to store a piece of data about Bob, we would have to write Bob's skin color, Bob hair color, Bob eye color, Bob's um, blah 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 blah. Something he's wearing would have to be there and his color. So let's say there will be someone else like Luke. So Luke's skin color equals white. His um, hair color would be um, brown and Luke's eye color would also re would be green so this way we would have data about them and this way we'd have to write a whole lot of stuff and we'd have to remember all kinds of stuff so we would need to know which variable each one is and it's just not a convenient way of storing all this data so what we can actually do is use objects that are in JavaScript. So let's say we would rewrite this uh, piece of code into something more efficient. So an object is um, something we can write by using const bob equals and then a curly bracket and not a curly bracket. So inside these two brackets we have an object and an object can hold keys. So if we go to the page we can see an object can hold a name value pair, not a name value pair, not a name value pair. You can also call it as a constructor, but we will go over that later. And pairs of name strings and values where this name is separated from the value by a colon. So if we want to, we can make a key and a value which we separate by a colon. So let's say we would have to we would want to say his skin color so we would say skin color do a colon and then we could say brown so now we have declared Bob his skin color is brown so let's say we would log Bob we would view that we would see his skin color brown would be logged into console and we actually get the entire object so we could add other stuff by using a comma and say his hair color is black using another comma his eye color is blue and if we lock this again we would see skin color brown hair color black eye color blue so this way we can store all the data about Bob in a single value in a single variable which is called Bob so if we call Bob we could see his skin color hair color eye color which is all stored under one variable but let's say we would want to see his skin color and we don't want to see the entire object we can do that by calling Bob let's say dot and as you can see it brings up right away which kind of stuff we can use so we have eye color, hair color and skin color so let's say we want to lock the skin color we say Bob dot skin color 
And if we do this, we would see Brown gets locked into console. So we can see that we can access values from our object by using a dot and then the name of a key. So we can actually remove all the stuff we wrote up here about Bob and who he is. Now we can say cons Luke equals this stuff and would say his skin color is white, his hair color is brown, his eye color is green. And if we do this, we would have Luke's uh, information. So instead of writing all this nonsense, which takes up a whole lot of variables, we use six variables and now we wrote it in just two variables, which is a whole lot shorter. But it just it doesn't make it compacter, but it just makes it easier to work with. So instead of having each variable stored separately, we store it as one big object, which is Bob and Luke in this case. So we could say console.log Luke and we would see that all the information about Luke would get logged into console. Now what if we want to change this later on? There is a way to do this which is quite easy and that is by using Luke dot and then the name of the key you want to change which is in this case eye color which I want to change because I don't like the color green we want to say uh, blue so we can just call Luke dot eye color equals blue which works the same as just editing a variable one thing special about objects is that even though we declare Luke as a constant variable which shouldn't be changed we can actually change the contents of the object that is stored under a constant variable so if we do that we would see eye color is now blue even though we declared it as green but we changed it to blue so it will be blue so let's say we want to add something to the object from Luke instead of writing this entire script again we could just change the contents of Luke so we could say Luke dot and we would say his current uh, shirt color is orange so we say Luke dot short shirt color which isn't declared yet equals orange so what that does is it gets Luke's object and it will go in there and it will see shirt color isn't defined yet and it will add shirt color for us with the value that we provided so if we log that we would see shirt color is right here and it's orange and one thing I want to add is um, let's say we don't want to have shirt color separately what if we want to make a section for the clothes so what we can do is we could say clothes and we can add an object inside of an object so if we log this first we would see that clothes is another object which doesn't have anything in it yet and what we can do is we could say shoes is um, uh, Nike shoes we have Nike shoes so if we go into console we would see clothes which you can open we see clothes with shoes equals Nike so we now have an object inside of our object so we have the object look and we can get the value of the key clothes which if we do that we would see logs shoes Nike which means we have another object which is the same as Luke which we can use dot shoes on which would log Nike and this would work the same for let's say saying shirt color equals orange oh let's not do this um, let's lock clothes and let's say look at shirt color that's not something we want we want looks clothes dot shirt color to be orange so if we do that we would see shoes are Nike shirt colors orange so this was basically the basics of objects in JavaScript if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video